Bad throw, bad throw. Land here so it slide to the middle. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Last vlog, I was in South by Southwest, and um, the last day, it was a Sunday, decided to get some B roll, uh, walking around with my daughter. And while I was walking, I looked down and I saw something on the floor. It was black, but it was shaped oddly, like a, kind of like a pear. And it had a zipper on it. And I just walked past, looked at it, went back and told my daughter, give me a second. And I picked it up and I'm like, wow. I turned it over and it was a skull candy. I don't know if you guys can see this, uh, but it, it, it was really pretty. It was like, looked hand, it was, I mean, it was nice. It was really nice. I proceeded to open it up. And to my surprise, it was somebody's purse slash wallet slash pouch. Had some ID, some credit cards. And I was like, oh my God, somebody must be very pissed right now. In the past, I have had my wallet returned to me. I remember when I was maybe about eight years old, uh, I lost my wallet and a lady came to the house and my parents opened the door and handed them my wallet. I really love that wallet a lot and uh, I was surprised to see the wallet come back. Fast forward many years, uh, I was on a bus and my wallet fell on the bus. Um, the wallet was, again, sent back to me. Just one day, a box arrived at my house and inside was my wallet and all of my IDs, all of my credit cards, everything, everything that is so difficult to, to, to get was all there. Alongside of it was a note. The note said that they had found my wallet on the bus and they were hoping that the wallet arrived to me because they were not sure if my address was correct. They also said that, that my wallet had 150 pesos and they were in really need of money and that they were very sorry but they decided to keep the 150 pesos. And at the end, uh, there was a side note that said, pass it forward. It didn't bother me that he took the 150 pesos. I really didn't care. What I wanted was all of my documents. Uh, and I appreciate that he was very, very honest about it. I mean, that you have to give him credit for that. He was honest. He was saying, hey, listen, I had problems. I, this is a third world country, you know. I, have a, I needed this money, seriously. I feel that that was a good thing, you know. Maybe he didn't do it the right way, but, you know, maybe, maybe it was destiny. My wallet was supposed to fall off in the bus, and this person that was in real need of money found it. Maybe that's the way things are supposed to be. But what do you guys think? If you guys found a wallet with money in it, would you return it with the money? Would you just return the wallet and the documents? Would you keep it? You know, be honest about it. It's okay. I've heard people say one thing and do another. But I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about this. Now, don't think by any chance that I kept anything. I found the wallet and made sure that everything in its contents was intact and returned to its rightful owner because that's the way I would have won everything done. I made sure that it arrived. But it would be interesting to find out what you guys think about it. Uh, my father lost his wallet and, uh, or it was stolen, one or the other. And somebody on the street of my neighborhood happened to find the wallet in the bushes. So I guess it was stolen and saw the picture of me in the wallet and immediately knew who the wallet belonged to. So they came back to our property and called my father and handed him the wallet, said, I recognized your son in the picture. Well, it was a picture of my older brother, Douglas, but <laughs> they, um, they, they returned the wallet. So, when I found that wallet, all of this came to mind and I immediately knew that I have to do the right thing. I have to return this to the rightful owner. So with today's technology, first thing I did was, boom, Facebook, guess what? Of course, I'm pretty sure that, you know, this person should have a, uh, a Facebook, an Instagram, something, I mean, because it belonged to a lady. So lo and behold, I got in touch with her and I shipped her her wallet. I shipped everything. Yeah, to my surprise, um, 
Today, uh, I received a wonderful letter uh, from her. I did not expect anything in return. I wasn't looking for anything. But I wanted to share this moment with you guys and go ahead and open, open this today and see what it says. I think this is really cool. I did not expect this. But yeah, let's get going. We gotta do this carefully with medical precision. These are sharp stuff. Children, do not play with this. Parents, make sure you put your stuff away. Kids are getting hurt nowadays. All right, we've opened it. Let's find out. An Easter riddle. Ooh. What did the chocolate bunny say when somebody bit off his ear? What? Huh? How's that? <laughs> All right. There it is. Uh, I want to thank Leslie very much for, uh, for this uh, wonderful gift. Okay, here's what it says. Andre, I cannot thank you enough for finding my wallet and ensuring it's safe return. You are an amazing human being and I will definitely pay it forward. There you go. She threw in a little, not necessary Leslie, but thank you. I'll make sure my daughter makes the best of this. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part two of my South by Southwest blog. I'm still working on it, so happy Easter.